Mark Marquez is recovering from a fourth surgery on his arm. He is hopeful of making a full recovery soon. Part of the reason why the injury is taking so long to heal is because of the haste he showed on a couple of occasions to return to racing after surgery. Recently, Honda boss Alberto Puig didn't rule out a return for the two days of testing in Misano in September. This has led to suggestions that it might once again be too soon. I'm your host, Dylan Shelley, and first up on Moto World, suicidal for Mark Marquez to return in September. A few weeks back, Pooj stated the following to DAZN. It will be very important for him to be able to come back and test the bike by the end of the season. We have training and tests that are very important for the bike's development. Renowned physiotherapist and rehabilitation expert Ruben Garcia, while speaking to Moto Race Nation, explained the aim of Mark's most recent surgery. With this operation, the aim is for Mark Marquez to reassemble his arm and have all the strength possible in his right shoulder to be able to ride as he does, putting a lot of pressure and force on the front axle. They are going to try to recover strength, functional capacity and remove pain, which in the end is what prevented the shoulder from working properly, pain that affected the entire shoulder, pain that radiated to the arm, to the back. He then gave his opinion on Mark's training methodology while recovering from his previous injuries. What I can tell you is if the patient is mine, under no circumstances will I let him do the exercises that Mark did, but treating an elite athlete is very complicated. He then gave his thoughts on Mark possibly returning in September. It would be very hasty. It would be suicidal. I wouldn't give Mark a bike before October or November, and that too just to see how he feels. He signed off by explaining why. Complications will appear. Tendinosis and structural friction will appear. In this new position of the humerus, it is necessary to see how the shoulder is going to adapt. We are dealing with a bone that has suffered brutal stress, with infections, with lack of consolidation, and that has already undergone four operations. You have to let it rest. Fast feed. KTM's Miguel Oliveira clarified that I don't make decisions about my future depending on the money I earn. My priority is to be on a competitive team and motorcycle. What it's about is that KTM want to take me from a place in a factory team to send me to Tech 3, which is a junior team, to raise Moto2 riders, rookies. Maybe it's my ego, but I don't think there are many riders who have won races in MotoGP. Being one of them, I think, puts me in a position where I don't need to look at myself as just another rider. RNF Yamaha's Darren Binder thinks that the team right now haven't expected much more than what he's done. Maybe I've actually surprised them in some ways because I think some guys maybe thought I was going to struggle more than I did. Even if I found out that I can't stay in MotoGP, I'm just going to really enjoy the second half of the year. I feel like I've still got a lot more to show. Mooney VR46's Marco Betsecchi pointed out that this level in MotoGP is very, very high. A lot of bikes are fast, a lot of riders are fast, and I think the competition is at the best level so far. I think Fabio is very, very good. He always gets to the top and always gets points, but Pecco is also very fast, and I think with greater consistency, he can also fight for the championship. Retired MotoGP world champion Casey Stoner, meanwhile, stated that Pecco is a good guy. He has my old mechanics, and I know how hard he is working. Right from the start, the speed is there. Maybe he just has to accept that he can't win every race. He's made too many mistakes this year. But without being in his situation, you can't understand everything, and from the outside, it's easy to judge things. I prefer not to comment further. Are Honda being hasty by expecting Marc Marquez to return by September? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of MotoGP.